What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome fishing video and today is July 4th, that's why I'm kind of dressed in some 4th of July America apparel right here. We got the dope little, uh, little I'm, I'm going to say this is an Uncle Sam hat just because it's tall and that kind of thing and American. And then we got we got like the shirt and then we got some uh, some swim trunks right here because we are going to be in doing some creek fishing today we're gonna to be waiting around we got the creek shoes on we're gonna be fishing around all throughout here you guys have seen a couple videos uh, maybe like two or three videos fishing this creek we're gonna be going up creek up stream or up river right here right here behind me and uh, I am starting off with a shaky head thir three sixteenths ounce shaky head with a little miniature rage crawl and my dad is starting off with a uh, a 1 8 ounce shaky head with a cut down baby brush hog. So um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to try to get some dope b-roll and everything. This is just going to be like a fun episode. That's why my whole apparel attire right here is like all murkin because it's the 4th of July and we celebrate that on this channel. So other than that, thank you guys for watching and uh, let's get fishing. I can't see much because of the glare. There you get it. All right, guys. Well, I just want to pop in real quick. I'm actually editing the video that you guys are watching right now, um, and I just felt like this little clip right here, what you guys just watched me fall in the water. Um, I just wanted to clarify a couple things. Um, this camera right here was the only thing that did not get wet. Um, I had a backpack on me and I completely fell in and I was literally sticking. Uh, I wish my dad had a camera on him and whenever he looked at me and I was literally sitting in the water holding up my camera trying not to get it wet. So um, I know that was very random, a very random fall, but the rocks were super slick. Um, and we were even going very slow. Um, we had to think every move out because there were there were rocks and there were like little divots and whatever that whatever that stuff is like little things that go like this. You know, I don't really know what they were, but all I know were they were super slick. And you guys saw me fall, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that fall. I know it. There was like it was just a random fall right in the right in the beginning of the video, but. Um, that was that was pretty funny that you guys will see that in a later video as well like in 2020 like a bloopers video but um, yeah I just wanted to clarify that for uh, for one sec let's get back to the video all right guys dad got his first fish on the brush hog landed the first fish landed the first fish he's got oh. a, his, his nose is kind of messed up it looks like just a little nub Check that fish out. It, yeah, look look at his like little his little head right there. Kind of yeah. little nub. You ready? Yeah. Let's get the get the release. Oh, oh that was kind of cool. There he goes. Off he goes. He's going this way actually, but he caught him right back over there. Caught him on that uh, baby brush hog. Cut down baby brush hog. A little one eighth ounce uh, shaky head right there. Check that out, guys. He took it off. See if I can get some more. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got a fish. Oh, it's a little largey. A little largey, guys. Check that out. All right, guys. Check that out. First fish of the day for me comes on the uh, the little 3 16 ounce shaky head with a, uh, a little baby rage call check that out not a big fish by any means but these are creek fish they're not normally going to get too big i've seen we've seen i have seen some decent ones like 12 13 inch bass but this is this is like a normal solid size and check that out right there beautiful fish right there we're gonna go go ahead get the release right there off off she goes right there again on the ridge crawl throwing that on the 13 fishing defy black uh with a 13 fishing source x rod and reel combo so other than that hope you guys enjoyed that fish guess that is my first fish of the day my dad has caught three 
landed one. Um, or actually, I guess you could call it landed two. He had one and it hit the bank. It fell off his hook, hit the bank, and then kind of flopped around, swam off uh, before he could get it. But um, that is, that's my first fish. That's all that really matters. And uh, other than that, we're going to get back. I'm going to cast back out there and we're going to see if we can get another fish. All right, guys. Dad just got his second confirmed landed fish right there. Check that out. A little largey again on the brush hog right there. Check him out. Oh! <laughs> I kind of position him up. Yeah, you can kind of so, position him up so to where he'll, he'll jump. Right out over here, this is where we've been fishing. There's some rocks right over there. Bringing it back. This is actually fairly shallow, um, but just bringing it back, and we've seen quite a few fish over here, so we're going to keep fishing and get back. Oh, we got him. Oh, oh, we got a small one. We got one. We got one. There we go. I know. There we go, guys. Wow. Check out that fish. Ooh, through the eye, too. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that right there. Make sure we're recording. Not a bad fish, though. Ooh, right through the eye. But I had seen a, a decent one right back over here along this bank. Probably about a light probably about a foot or so probably 12 inches or so and that's what I was casting to bringing it back out and this little guy hit so not too bad gonna have to get a uh, new rage crawl but uh there we go off he goes we gotta put the put the camera right in between the knees or in between the legs but awesome fish I'm gonna t get back a uh, rage crawl tie one on tie one back on or put one back on my shaky head and get back out here because I'm sure there's more fish out here Oh, we got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good smallmouth. Oh, yes. Yes, guys. Here, here. Get my camera. Yes. Check that out, fellas. That is a beautiful creek smallmouth. Wow, super healthy. I mean, wow, check that out, guys. Beautiful brown back, got a little bit of line on them just because that's my line. But again, on the rage crawl, cast back out there. Beautiful fish. Check that out, guys. All right, guys. Beautiful smallmouth right there. Probably about a pound or so. Right there. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. That's, that's, that kind of scared me. But awesome fish. Let's let's get the rod back out of the water. That is my biggest fish today, and that is one that is accomplishing one goal right there for today's video and today's fishing mission. I really wanted to catch at least one smallmouth, and that was a big check, actually check mark right there. So awesome! All these fish are on the rage crawl. I will put the link if you guys want to purchase some of these down in the description, and uh, just to make it easier for you guys to get out on the get out in your local creeks this is actually on a golf course um but uh yes awesome fish let's get another one guys dad just got his fourth fish fourth fish now he's leading smally check that out right there awesome you gonna get him back yeah oh he didn't jump but didn't jump. coming back out right here we're trying to we were fishing back over here all the way up here now we're trying to right over here by these rocks and had a couple bites actually so get back got one guys there we go oh a little sunfish a little sunfish check that out fellas ow little sunfish that is my first sunfish of the day my dad's caught one, but I have not yet. There we go. Right there, a little sunfish or some kind of sunfish deal. There we go. Right there. Hopefully camera is not hitting the water right there in between the legs, but that is our first fish in this little hole. Decent little guy. We can get back after it. We got one. We got another sunfish, I think. Yeah, I think another sunfish. Oh, no, a smallmouth. Smallmouth. 
There we go. Oh, oh, get out of the tree. There we go. A little smallmouth. Oh, this one's got super cool colors. Check that out, guys. Beautiful smallmouth right there. You got some beautiful colors. Hey guys, check that out. Beautiful smallmouth right there. Right there. Absolutely crushed the uh, the little shaky head. I'd cast over by this tree right here. Almost hit it as soon as it hit the water. Beautiful little smallmouth right there, guys. Let's get the release right there. And off. Off he goes. I actually thought it was a, uh, a bluegill at first. You guys could tell on the GoPro, but just because he came up and he was kind of dark, and then then I got him a little bit closer and saw that it was a good old smallmouth. So that is that's the second smallmouth I believe for me. I think me and my dad are we both tied up? Mm -hmm. Is it tied up four four? Uh, we're not really doing a challenge or a competition right here, but we're we're obviously keeping score because you know a, little, a good little father son challenges can't hurt, but. Um, I'm, now, I'm gonna pick up my rod out of the water and we are gonna get back fishing. Oh man. Got one, guys. Another one. Little smallmouth. Yep. Little smallmouth. Kinda hooked him in the gills. Oh man, he's, he's bleeding too. Right there, small little guy. I'm gonna toss him back. In the water again on the rage crawl straight doing work here fellas doing work told you yep got one fellas a little large mouth there we go I told my dad I was like you know there's a fish right over there and cast over there and almost hit as soon as it hit the water there we go. Not a big little guy, but decent little uh, a little largey right there on the shaky head. Shaky head is straight doing work. Just walking up this creek to the uh, to the next bridge, we found that bridges are pretty good, and then some of the deeper holes. So there we go. Decent little guy. Toss him back out. All on the rage crawl, the mini rage crawl. I believe this is in a uh, like a watermelon color right here. Oh, do you have one? Wow, there's some fish here. Um, but watermelon color, I'm actually, I've only got like two more of these, so I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get another pack, but let's keep catching fish. Oh my gosh. We got one. Go. Literally watched him eat it. Watched him eat it, swim off with it. That is one of the coolest fish catches I have almost ever seen right there decent little guy on the shaky head right there check out that belly fat right in the top of the mouth right there check that out fellas all right oh my gosh he has guys he has uh crawfish antennas the little antennas hanging out of his mouth i bet you guys can't see that but there's two little lines coming out of his coming out of his mouth that is crazy check that out you guys get him back right there oh there he goes off he goes i was trying uh i gave my dad my camera and he was trying to get a good picture we were trying to get a good picture of those antennas but uh my camera couldn't focus focus on them good enough so um other than that that, that was pretty cool that was one of the coolest fish catches I was literally standing right here. I was bringing back my bait and I just saw something following it because the water is so clear. You can literally see your bait and see the fish. Um, I was bringing it back. I paused it. He kind of, I guess he kind of forgot where it was and kind of started to swim off. I hopped it once. He came back to it. I hopped it again and I just, I saw him kind of suck it in and then just kind of start moving off and moving that way. And that's when I got him. So that's that's super cool that's one this is one of my favorite ways to catch fish creek fishing i am waiting i'm in chacos and uh swim shorts waiting and you can catch fish and you're in the fish's habitat so that's it's so cool oh we got one oh we got one 
Oh, this, this is a decent one. Oh yeah, yeah, decent large one mouth. Oh yeah, that's a, that's probably, a, that's a pounder. Oh yeah, check out that guys. There we go. Check that one out, fellas. That is probably one of my biggest fish of the day. Came on. I told my dad he was like, huh, oh, you know, let's let's start trying to pack it up, wrap wrap it up, and head on out of here. And I was like, well, let's, let's see if we can get one more fish. One more fish. Thank you, Dad, to holding the camera. But check that out, fellas. Beautiful bass right there. That's not even. That's a, that's a pretty. That's a pretty good fish. That's a really good fish, especially for here. Normally the fish are kind of smaller, but even in a pond, this would be a, a decent, a decent little fish. It is definitely about a pound fish. Uh, definitely at a pound. And just check out that belly right there. He has been loading, loading up on those, those crawfish and little baby bluegill and stuff. But beautiful fish, guys. Check out that fish right there. We're gonna get him back. This is probably one of the last fish of the day. Beautiful fish right there. It goes off, swims off right there, and that is, uh, that's probably gonna wrap up the day. I might be, we might be able to catch one more like here very quickly or on the way back, but that's probably gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, now we're gonna start heading back to the car. Oh, man. Alrighty, guys, well, that is gonna wrap up today's video and uh, we still, I still have the GoPro on. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We caught all of our fish, actually all of my fish, on the, uh, the shaky head with a, uh, a baby rage crawl. And my dad caught all his fish on a shaky head. Almost the exact same presentation, uh, but he was using a little bit cut down baby brush hog. So on that, we caught tons of fish. Great time out here on the creek today. Subscribe for more uh, for more creek videos and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace guys.